Don't you open up that window Don't you let out that antidote pills is all we know Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sports Center. I am your host, Tom Jones. Tonight we will be talking about the freak, Dan the Italian, the one who just announced that he's going to Georgetown. Hoyas, hoyas. Him and his family are actually very excited that he is going there and that he chose that place coming from Parkside, Harlem, where it's pretty hard to get your name out there. But Freak has managed the way he get his name out into the public. Now to see his highlights throughout the week of him and his college debut, I will take you to my clean but not filthy <laughs> sensei. Go ahead and take it away, filthy. And thank you, Sticky Balls. We're going to take a look here at Dan the Italian having a 27-point game, 5 rebounds, 5 for 7 at the 3-point line. He had a very sufficient game. As you can see here, however, he starts the game off like a walking toilet because you can see this guy here shitting on him. Oh my goodness. He is only a freshman for the Hoyas, however, he does start to benefit the team. And here you see him getting shitted on one more time. It does not make sense. The coach is pissed off. He calls a timeout here with his bald-headed ass. It appears that he might have beat his meat to get rid of some of that nervousness because he drops a three in someone's mouth. No kind of competition whatsoever. But they answer back, dropping it back off and leading the score by one point. And the Italian, a.k.a. the Freak, takes it back down court, sauces a bit, and he takes it to the hoop, and then... <laughs> the freshman from Parkside High looking to take the Georgetown Hoyas all the way as they face their biggest challenge yet, the Wisconsin Badgers. And Dan the Italian also looking to be top five pick in the NBA draft. Now let's talk about Dan for a second here. The senior out of high school is projecting himself to be a part of NBA greatness, but do I see him making it? Hell the fuck no. I feel as if he will get dunked on maybe 24 times a game. But don't get me wrong, I'm not just hating on the guy. I do see him in the NBA somewhere, maybe on a bench or wiping sweat off the floor. <laughs> but that's the end of the first game that I will show you tonight. That was a very successful game for the Hoyas. 39, Texas 17. Now let's check out another game, Kansas versus the Hoyas. The Hoyas coming out with yet another dominant win. Look at them celebrating like niggas. That's good teamwork there. Now let's check out what goes on. Mr. The Italian had 16 points, 7 rebounds. Very successful game yet again for him. Check him out splashing and doing what he does. Very, very nice form by him. Now Kelly Oubre Jr. trying to lead his team to victory against the Hoyas. However, comes up short. Had a good game though. 10 points, 5 rebounds. And this is him trying to take charge. Dan the Italian's coach getting a bit pissed off. But Daniel makes him proud with a nice little steal here. As you can see, steals it. Takes it right down courts and converts. As you see there, Kelly being a little bit disrespectful towards Dan the Italian. Here's a closer look. Ugh, get off me, motherfucker. All right, now you see Dan not phasing it in any kind of way whatsoever. He comes down court and answers once again. Ah, ga, 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 ga. Dan the Italian looking oh so dominant on the NCAA court. Here's another look at the dunk. Oh, and, oh, and he's standing there. Some badass shit. Damn, they got some. Oh, um, another step towards the Kansas ass whooping Dan. Dropping off a nice little three right there. Successfully leading his team to victory. Dan says hop on this sack. I mean, back. Uh, shows a little bit of teamwork down here as he passes to Kenny Warren. Kenny Warren scoring. They do convert. Extra points are always wonderful. Somebody please get me on with one of those cheerleaders. But Dan decides it's about time to end this game off. But how about we go out with a bang? We're going to shoot this buzzer beater and we're going to make it. Moneyball by Dan the Italian. That is the conclusion of the Kansas ass whooping. And Dan the Italian takes home the W along with his teammates. Such good showmanship they win. 40 Georgetown, Kansas 28 leaving the Jayhawk fans in a disappointing state of mind. Ooh, that score is nasty. Now we're going to check out the last game for tonight, and it's against Villa. Oh my god, hold up. Everybody say whoop and keep it going. Saw Villanova catch a mean ass whooping. <laughs> I thought the Jayhawks had it bad, but these motherfuckers almost got 20 pieced. <laughs> Dan the Italian, however, having a great game. 18 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists. If I see any more bad cheerleaders, I might have to become a basketball player myself. <laughs> 
or a cheerleader. Now let's see what Dan here does, saucing and um converting with a nice swish. Nice shot by Dan the Italian, about to lead his team to one of the most brutal ass whoopings of the night. But number 48 for Villanova Clarkson says he's not going out without a bang. Nice little and one play, and then he shows his brother some brotherly love. Great teamwork right there, great sportsmanship. Oh, and he's not done yet. He's gonna sauce Dan the Italian a little bit. Oh, and he converts once more. Clarkson showing the Hoyas that he means business indeed. Yep, unlike my wife, when I ask her if she loves me, <laughs> Dan the Italian answers. Oh, and there is the score. Impressive play by the freak himself. Nice little showmanship right there. And pushing up an eight point lead. Very impressive by Dan the Italian, yet he is soft on the defense. Allowing number 19 for Villanova to score. A nobody apparently, since I did not know his name. Dan the Italian pushes it down court once more and slamming it in with a vicious dunk. Taking it back down court once again. They are up by a good 16 point lead at this point. Dan the Italian with the step back jumper and it's good, very good. Look at that ugly ass bulldog. But that'll conclude the game folks. Please make sure you stay tuned for the NCAA championship. Georgetown will be facing the Badgers. I'm Filthy Sensei signing off.